How's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here. I have been visiting beautiful New York City all month. And do you see these subtitles on the bottom of the video? I'm gonna teach you how to automate your subtitles by using Premiere's amazing speech to text function. This is an extremely useful addition to Premiere that utilizes the power of Adobe Sensei machine learning to accurately position subtitles directly on your footage. So here's the deal. Adobe actually challenged me to create a tutorial to teach you guys how I created this really cool video here in Manhattan that involved a wrapper, an electronic stabilizer, and my mirrorless DSLR. So the video actually looks like this. We shot it in three locations here in the city, and the tutorial looked like this. So adding subtitles to any tutorials that you make or any video content that you make can really help with driving engagement. Why? Because it enables your video to be watched in a wider variety of environments. Maybe someone's at work and can't play a video out loud. Maybe someone's scrolling through their feed and gets hooked on your video through the subtitles, then decides to actually click on it to then hear the rest audibly. The thing is though, subtitles can be a massive pain to create until now. So you're of course gonna go into Premiere Pro and you'll edit your entire project. When that project is done, go to the window tab and make sure that the text panel is checked. Proceed to the text panel and click transcribe sequence. As you see, speech to text is available in multiple languages. You can also choose which track you'd like Premiere Pro to transcribe, or in this case, just listen to all the tracks via mix. Premiere Pro will actually create a new transcript right inside your text panel. As you can see, speech to text can differentiate between speakers. You can use the search and replace feature to help review and finalize your transcript, or you can simply click anywhere and edit the text manually. Once you're done transcribing your video, you can then change this transcription into captions slash subtitles by clicking create captions. After that, click Create. Now check this out. A new captions track appears on the timeline and the subtitles are accurately placed right above the segment of the clip in which the words are spoken. You can also edit the subtitles manually right in the program window and stylize them via the Essential Graphics panel. Okay, so now you're done with your subtitles and you're ready to actually export out your video. Well, now you have two options. You can either burn the captions right on your video, like we're planning on doing, or you can actually choose to export your captions as a sidecar file. You can actually upload these files onto a website like YouTube to create subtitles that your viewer will have the option of turning on and off. Speech to text is actually available in the latest version of Premiere Pro, so make sure you give it a try. Thanks so much for watching fam, and please make sure to like this video and subscribe.